Hello and welcome back to Forts and today we are playing with the Banana Mod, a relatively new mod created by one of the community members here. I will make sure to leave that link in the description below and you guys will be able to check it out for yourselves. Nope, don't go away please, thank you. Worth, totally worth. Uh, so uh, let's start things off by not flummoxing my fingers and making sure the build goes correctly. And we're going to be showing off the power of some of these new weapons, specifically the banana flak, because I like flak and the upgrade is quite, quite exciting. So the banana flak is a uh, is an interesting weapon. Uh, at first, it's only a kind of a different form of flak. It fires regular flak rounds that have been reskinned to be bananas, but unlike the regular flak which fires in its entire magazine of four shots, uh, this one only fires one shot with a significantly faster uh, cooldown period between shots. So it's a little bit different, not terribly exciting, but it's upgrade now. Its upgrade is much, much more exciting, and we'll get to that one in a moment. But for now, let's just start working up the tech tree and working up to the ability to field these weapons. Now, these weapons are a little bit expensive. I did play around with it a little bit in Sandbox, so I know that I need to be focusing on a, on a bit of economy here. We're going to be working with these upgraded banana flax, and they'll be shooting bunches of bananas rather than, rather than tiny little... Uh, banana uh, ballistics. So we'll, we'll we'll get to see the power of these real quick here. Let's go ahead and try to do, try to get this out. I do have the F8 menu down so you guys can see all of the uh, well the timings of this and such. Not that I have a p particular build because I'm not going to spend time to make a build uh, to perfectly optimize all of this. But I do want to have it set up nice and strong. Uh, let's go ahead and just put you right back here. But I want to put you over here. I'll pitch you right over here. I can put a throw in the back if necessary, and then a little bit in front. Like so, and then foreground it up. And I need my door here, and my door here. Come on, come on, give me door. I need metal. There we go. All right, nice. So that should be good. Now, these weapons are a bit more metal hungry than energy hungry, so we, we gotta keep our metal supply pretty high here. Uh, this should be good. Put you on your hotkeys. I'll show you guys off the uh, banana flak real quick. We also have a banana sniper, which is actually kind of really nice, and I can think of a lot of good use cases for him. Uh, I need both of you guys on that hotkey, please. Thank you. Just go ahead and fire this off. You see, it's just like a regular flak. Just like a regular flak. All right, I'm going to close you off before you get sniped. Thank you. Don't do that, please. No sniping for you. All right, looks like we're good to upgrade these guys. Uh, cost of 500 metal and 4,000 energy just for the upgrade, so that's going to be um, a little bit of time. But we'll be able to have some serious damage output real quick. Now, even in the tool tip on these guys, you can see uh, where, where it says it's, it's upgrade is what we want it for. And it's it's very much correct. Uh, shooting its bushel of bananas is extraordinarily strong. And I can't wait to see the reactions of these poor players. They're going to have to deal with bushel of bananas coming after them. Uh, I'm leaning a bit much, I think. I may have gone a little bit overboard with the whole the whole building of the base here. All right, but let's go ahead and build back, see if we can't stabilize our, our, our stuff a little bit. Uh, are we good to go here? All right, looks like we are. Let's go ahead and open fire. Uh, so these bushels of bananas, when they detonate, uh, they detonate into mortar, banana mortars, which is kind of strong. As you can see, it shoots a bunch of mortars out. Uh, it's, they're banana mortars, is what they are. And they're the incendiary kind, so we're not talking like cannon replacement. But it's still a bunch of them. It's like, what is it? Maybe seven or eight mortar shot? Okay, that's a banana sniper. Gotta look out for that. Like seven or eight all flying out the same, same-ish direction, which can kind of add up in damage significantly. As you can tell... tell it's gonna do a, a lot of work yeah I don't think they knew about that so a lot of these guys had played the mod before uh, in fact did around previously just to just to show off some of the weapons let them get used to it I don't think they figured out about the upgraded banana banana flag here it's kind of ridiculous and he's gonna be sitting there sitting there trying to figure out what's going on so I'm gonna go ahead and mortar that guy real quick Ooh, bye bye banana sniper you will be missed but banana flag is where I'm at Let's go ahead and get this command ability active. See if we can't defend ourselves a little bit better. Get our wind turbines all protected up. At least with a basic sandbag defense for all that's worth. Fire once more. 
Looks like this player is going for a lot of metal, which will do decently well versus our, our banana motors. Uh, mostly because these are the incendiary variety and not the heavy variety, so uh, they don't do a whole lot of damage in and of themselves. But they, obviously, as you guys can tell, it'll stack up a bit. So we we just gonna let that go for now. Keep those building. How is that production coming along? I want to build some banana trees. Uh, I don't I don't think so. Let's make sure we get our upgrade center down. And then I can start working on a third one of these boys. And fire this right here. And you can see all the incendiaries flying in every every which way for the moment at which it is alive. Now the banana sniper, I uh, I don't really want to use him right now. I would I would I would rather have a, a regular old snipey for our purposes at this point because the banana sniper fires three shots instead of one and then has a a longer cooldown just like an AP sniper does. But it means that he's really good at door sniping things. Like if say there's a a, a cannon coming out that takes. Three shots to door, sni uh, three sniper shots over the door stuff. How did you survive? Oh, you didn't. Never mind. As, as you guys can see, the uh, the mortars themselves don't do that much damage. It's all about the um, the burning time after it. So you have something in metal. Yeah, it'll it'll cut through it eventually because it's still a bunch of mortars. But it's the incendiary is where the real damage is at. Let's go ahead and move you guys over here. Let me start working on another banana flak. Put him right over here, real quick. Get this guy going. Ooh. There we go. And start working on our door here and here. We should be good to go. We'll open this up. I have a third one in the mix pretty quickly here, which will add that much more death and destruction. How are you guys looking? Upgrade you guys. Very good. I could upgrade you and you, though I don't suspect this round will last much, much longer. As is, I'm already trying to spread the damage around just to let them get accustomed to the destruction before I uh, pound them all with it. At the theory of, of banana bushels. So we want a regular sniper for a standard weapon door snipes. But if they were to start fielding a heavy weapon that takes more than one sniper shot, then I would upgrade this guy, or rather exchange him, for a banana sniper. And we'll we'll cover some of the other weapons a little bit later, perhaps in another video, or maybe the second round here. Because there's some there's some pretty meme ones. Like that guy, for example. Uh, you are going to be a problem, so I'm going to immediately start focusing you down because I don't want to be hit by that. That's a giant banana box. It hurts a lot. As you can tell, it goes right through pretty much everything and just blows up in a horrific manner. And uh, it, if you guys didn't notice, it's got a lot of gravity to it, so uh, you can do all kinds of good good things with it. it looks like this poor... Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Apparently these guys still have the same... <laughs> demoralized him into selling off. I'm uh, not surprised. These things are quite quite dangerous to work with, but it appears they have the same um, flak mentality, that they like to detonate themselves, which I suppose is not terribly surprising. They are still a flak weapon. Let's go ahead and boom. Look at that metal still standing there. Uh oh. Banana box. It's fine. He lives for now. Let's go ahead and get you right back here. There we go. Can I put a door in here? I can. Nice. He's falling apart. He's falling apart. He's disconnected from his metal, so he's just gonna kind of fall apart here. All right, let's just try to finish you off, shall we? How are you still alive? Barely, that's how. <laughs> Looks like just a regular shotgun might even be enough to finish him off this time around. Activate commander ability. Try to get, try to get out this. Is this? No, that's a regular, regular flak. I don't want that. Ooh, banana box. Oh, just barely missed the shot. All right, let's fire these guys one at a time. Make sure to get the perfectly accurate shot in there. There we go. Let the banana gunner do his thing. That's a lot of bananas to fire out. That's one shot. And two. Boom. And that's uh, it's gonna be round one, showing off these uh, banana mortars. And we're off to round two, and I think we're going to show off the power of one of the other weapons. We're going to go with the banana sprayer this time. Now, the banana sprayer is a um, basically a machine gunner. Well, not machine gunner, a mini gunner. So we got to be real careful with him. We got a little bit of a sneak peek of him uh, in last last match when my teammate was using him. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try to do the same thing here now. Uh, it's because he's very much so like a like a mini gunner, he doesn't have a whole lot of methods of blowing up things like armor or energy shields. So if my opponents actually understand that uh, mach mini uh, you know machine gunners can't hurt armor, then we're gonna have to change tactics. But let's let's see if we can get a jump on them and do an alpha strike that tears their base asunder before they're prepared. Uh, so in order to gain access to this 
heavier weapon. Uh, it is considered a heavier weapon for some reason, but it is, it is locked behind the Banana Tech building, which is a building we didn't need last time. And the Banana Tech building is equivalent to something like the factory or the workshop. So we gotta gotta work our way up there in a similar similar building style, or at least similar uh, build order, so to speak. Uh, is he gonna punish me for doing this? He is. I'm gonna cover this up. I need to put an energy shield on him, but I do not want to build an energy shield because energy shields are expensive and they drain my energy. I'd rather just not not have a turbine for now. Anyways, so we'll, we'll work our way up to the banana tech, which should be coming up pretty quickly. I'll put another turbine right here, uncover you for the moment. But if he shoots at it, then I'll, I'll put it back just like so. Let's traditional or vanilla wooden door style. Uh, I do not believe that I'm going to need storages, so I should just be able to build downward with this like so now remember that these guys uh, cost a lot of metal so lots and lots of metal production are going to gonna be it gonna be a requirement we have to really double down on all of our metal production in fact we have a tool here to help us with it it is called the what are you, what are you called the banana tree it grows it grows metal and cost energy it's it's another one of these uh, metal to energy converters so I, as as long as I can keep my energy production pretty pretty high, we should be all right. I want to split you into into pieces. You are you are not not in a good spot here. Let's put you right there. There we go. Now I have you split into pieces. Much better. That's that's the way we like it. So I need to focus a lot of energy production as well as metal production directly, and then have it converted from from energy to metal at some points just to keep up with the massive amount of metal needed to fund all of our trees. Isn't that, isn't that a wonderful idea? So I'm going to sell you off, put you back here, and put another one over here. There we go. And then we're going to turn all of this into turbines, and then probably some more up here. I'm concerned if they're going to be building, how much defenses they're going to be building, but we'll, we'll get back to that later. How much does the banana sprayer cost? Banana sprayer costs 600 metal and then 5,000 energy. So energy cost to initial placement isn't too bad, nor is the metal placement, uh, but it costs a lot to fire these guys. So I'll have to keep that in mind. It looks like they're not interested in firing any more, any more things at me. So, oh, oh, you see? They're not firing at me. This is fine. For a moment, I was, I was worried there for a moment. All right, where is banana sprayer option? We should hit max metal right about this time is completed. There we go. You live there now. And we maneuver downward. Let's put this one and guy in half as well, just to help with the the stresses. There's a lot of a lot of uh, lateral stress there. I don't want to deal with much better. All right, so then go ahead and move down. We'll get a second one of you guys right here, like so. Cover you up. Get not what I intended, and not acceptable. Put you right here. There we go. And then we'll put some doors on these guys, like here and here. Yeah, right here. Come on. Is it cheaper by 20 metal? There we go. I realize it's not slanted, but it'll have to do. Let's cover the bottom of this guy and the back. That way, the flak doesn't hit us. I did hear flak explosion, so I want to want to keep an eye on that. I need to get an energy shield here sooner than later. That way, my turbines don't go away for uh, reasons. To cover bring you back down here to build additional space to build another storage to replace it. That way we don't start floating metal away. Can I fit another one over here? I believe I can. Then we'll go up to go up to a thousand storage cap. Uh, we're being hit by bananas. Yes, yes we are. This is fine for I have more bananas. Let me just go ahead and put both of you on a hotkey. There we go. And fire two at once, which cost 300 metal to fire. And does that tear through this door? Barely tears through his door. So he's gonna he's gonna have to rebuild that, which will cost him more than 300 metal, hopefully. Otherwise, this will be a very very poor poor decision tactically or strategically, which I already know to be the case. This is already gonna be a very poor decision. Going machine gunner type weapons or things that can't effectively destroy metal. Not not a great not a great option. Uh, don't do it. And you're good, and you don't have the metal to fire, which is why you do not fire. There you go. Blow away all of his energy production. Nice. Uh, you're hitting this guy, so I'm gonna... Alright, so we already have... Alright, stop it. There we go. 
I already have metal in front there, so I'm not too worried about it being hit. However, this I am worried about being hit. What has happened? No, it hit my gunner through the... Okay, so that happens sometimes with some of these modded weapons, where the hitbox is larger than it visibly appears. So while the uh, hmm, gunner was clearly behind the door, uh, the hitbox extended out to the front of the door. Which is unfortunate. I'm going to act activate commander ability here for the benefit of getting additional metal income. Because Lord knows I need it. Uh, did I get an upgrade center? I did not. Let's get let's get start working on an upgrade center so I can upgrade my mines and get more metal production. Because hoo 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 boy, we're we're peaking here, peaking here pretty hard. Um, do I want to invest in a banana tree already? I think I don't want to do that just yet. Let's fit you right back here if I can. There we go. Can help out. Cover you up. Cross brace all this so it doesn't fall apart. Very good. How's this? How's this looking? Do this. And ah, I wish this guy was just a little bit further back, but you know what? It's fine. What, what has happened here? Oh, that's some friendly fire. Uh, would not recommend. Uh, don't do that. That's that's not a good way to help out the team. Are right, you done yet? Not yet. Upgrade center is done. So let's go ahead and upgrade these guys immediately. And a couple of these. And we just need our 150 metal. Oh, not going to open this while there's uh, things exposed. There we go. So this is where his weapon is. Nope, not opening it while there's bananas. Bananas, they hurt. They hurt a lot. All right, let's go ahead and fire you off. Return fire. I believe he only single doored his weapon. So once we punch through, which should happen with this second guy, then we should blow away his weapons for himself. There we go. No! They blew away my banana gun again. Again. Uh oh. They're hurting my base. No. I think he got the door sniped that time. I didn't actually hit through the uh, through the base, which I suppose doesn't really matter so long as the, the outcome is the same. Let's go ahead and get this going. I think I'm going to have to do something a little bit more damaging. For as good as these things are at destroying weapons, they're not so great at destroying metal as you can see. So I think I'm going to sell this guy off. Bring you up to two and a half. Oh. Oh, fire. Fire, 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 fire. So that's one thing I, I neglected to mention. Uh, the upgrade on these things uh, makes them incendiary bananas. Uh, how much do you cost to fire afterward? Oh, you don't cost extra to fire. Uh, absolutely going to upgrade them to incendiary. Which means I'm definitely going to want to exchange this out for metal as soon as possible. Uh, but let's start working on some flak weapons here. Cover you up. Ooh, that's a banana. Alright, ready to fire this? Come on. Yay, we traded. I'm okay with this. Activate commander ability for bonus resource income. Put a flak down here. Exchange you for door. There we go. Now you're an incendiary banana launcher. And can start working on their wood. A bit, bit better. Fire. That's quite satisfying, actually. Not gonna lie, I like these things. As long as we don't get it so close that it hits the... Uh, as the Alright, can we upgrade you? We should be able to upgrade you. Uh, we can't upgrade you because you cost 500 metal. Um, I've neglected to continue upgrading my... That sounded bad. That was bad! You lost all your mines. Alright, so uh, time to carry. Uh, it's really hard to do when not wielding weapons that are capable of dealing damage, but... Ooh! Oh, very nice shot. I'm gonna... I'm going to take advantage of that guy having a bunch of holes in his base to uh, send, give him a give him a bunch of bananas to work with. Uh, start repairing now. There we go. Good luck with that. You're going to need it. Are you upgraded yet? You should be upgraded, right? I think you are. Uh, let's go ahead and open you up. Yes, you are upgraded. Get you upgraded. Uh, upgrade a couple of these guys and we're running low on power, which is not a surprise. Here. Oh dear. Come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give How are you looking? Oh, no. Bottom base is angry with me. Commander ability for bonus metal income. Oh, that was... Oh, dear. I just tried firing you. Nope. Alright, we're firing this guy then. Boom. And then more of you. And you go in hotkey too. And then fire you up here. There we go. Fire and damage. <laughs> uh, these really don't do that much damage. Oh, the big bananas. Alright, we need you to be fired. I'm floating metal. Uh, this needs to be fixed. 
Let's do this right back here. Put a door on you. And then another door on you to save you from the bigger, bigger boys. There we go. Tiny bracing. How you guys looking? You're still, still good? Alright, you there. You there. And one, two. Nope, I did that incorrectly. One and two. Okay, much better. I don't think you're upgraded yet. Uh, no, you're not. But we shall fire again, right here. And then some mortarage. Try to cut him off. There we go. To upgrade this one. Much better. Upgrade you and you. Commander ability for bonus income. So we need it. Uh, we're actually starved for power right now. Uh, I suppose it's not a surprise because we're, we only have 7,000 energy production. Uh, let's see our energy cap, but it, with all of those upgrade reps, it's 700 energy per second, so we shouldn't be starved anymore. Uh, did I finish upgrading you? I don't think I did. Oh, please don't hit my dude. Okay. Uh, these bananas do a lot of damage to him. To weapons. It's like one tiny banana blows up an entire weapon. So let's, let's try to not, not have that happen. I should reverse the firing order of these. Have the mortars fire second. Boom. There we go. That'll cut him off. Bye. You'll be missed. Not by me. additional energy production if possible. So I'll just jam you right out there. Add another layer of energy production here, and then a layer behind it of uh, energy to metal converter. Go. Uh, let's learn from my mistakes. Fire the mortar first. Everything is fire. It is life. And then there we go. And then fire the bananas. Now that his weapons are nice and exposed, or soon to be exposed. Ooh, dear. That looks like a real rough time to be having. Yeah, I do not I do not envy him. Set you up, cover you so you don't get hit by something. Like the banana spare that he has clearly visible. Learn from my mistakes, fire you first. And then you. And then you. Nope, don't, nope! The door snipe is real! Uh oh. All of my base is burning! Uh, taking damage. Put you back real quick. I don't have the metal to continue production here. Alright. Uh, that makes sense. We need a little bit more banana tree. Or any banana tree. That'd be nice. Um, I think you fit in the same same level as turbines. So we're going to go ahead and drag you down. And put a turbine. Oh, mechan uh, banana tree. You fit here? Where do you fit? Uh, you're tall. You live there now. There we go. And put you back here to make, make up for it. Alright, I'm going to get one more banana tree weapon. Or banana, banana sprayer weapon. Right, I'm so glad these things don't do much damage to metal, but they they hit angled armor pretty hard, so it's it's still still painful. There's one, there's two. Open you up. Uh, fire bananas. Oop! I accidentally gave it a little bit more spread. Well, you know, they're incendiary bananas, so that's just more fire in more places. There we go. Activate commander ability for bonus build speed. Right, these guys. We want a couple more batteries back here, if. Ideally, uh, let's go ahead and hit this button. Yeah, that was the player that we eliminated, so it's... I think he's just gonna let himself burn. Is he? Nope, he's... He doesn't want to let himself burn, but... Oh, nope, there he goes. And that's gonna be the end of our banana session for today. So remember, guys, we're gonna be doing a, a tier 3 banana episode here coming up pretty quickly. So make sure to hit that subscribe button because, well, you don't want to miss that one. But for now, I'll see you guys later.